Well, some people will be eating out for Thanksgiving tomorrow. Some community members came together tonight to enjoy a free hot meal on this Thanksgiving Eve. A community coming together for Thanksgiving. I'm your San Luis Obispo community reporter Carson Wells here at the Elks Lodge. I spoke to organizers of the 53rd annual Grassroots Thanksgiving who tell me it's the people that keep them coming back. I think one of the nicest things that you could possibly celebrate is being grateful. So, uh. Peggy Fowler is the executive director of Grassroots and has been helping to organize the Grassroots Thanksgiving for over 50 years. She tells me that there's a lot that goes into making these Thanksgiving meals, including two days of prep work. Nowadays, so many people are willing to share the spirit of Thanksgiving by coming here, making this meal. It's a meal made by the community. Fowler says she took over after the original founder, Maxine Lewis, died in 1988. This is a tradition began back uh, in the early 70s and actually in the late 60s. Maxine Lewis was the community organizer for the city of San Luis Obispo and she knew people wouldn't have a free Thanksgiving dinner or any Thanksgiving dinner at all, mostly because it was impractical to cook a turkey dinner for one or two people. And she invited everybody to her home. She lived out on Broad Street and she invited everybody to her home and dozens of folks came to her home. Fowler and her team tell me it has grown a lot since then. Now they make around 2,000 meals for community members, which some got to enjoy on Thanksgiving Eve. And they even make home deliveries. For those who come and take a meal, they tell me it's more about the community than the food. I enjoy these events because I do run into people that I, I don't see often. These hot meals have all all of the Thanksgiving fixings. Turkey, stuffing, mashed potatoes, and gravy. They'll get a, a vegetable and a dinner rolls and, uh, and pie. Grassroots partners with other local groups to help make the event happen. It's a little bit of organized chaos, but it's like that every year. I mean, we've got thousands of people coming by, dozens of volunteers, a lot of to-goes, deliveries, dine-in, uh, people coming and going. Uh, the turkeys were cooked over at CMC and delivered early this morning. Fowler says that this event has been a part of families for generations, both for the volunteers and the people coming for a meal. I'll have more information on how you can help grassroots on this story at KSBY.com. In San Luis Obispo, Carson Wells, KSBY News.